This new information released today is a little bit kind of scary. CATL has set up a mining company as well as BYD. So you have the first and third largest battery companies in the world, both in China, setting up mining companies in order to completely dominate the industry. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Great to see you all. Welcome to the channel, you new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Hope you had an awesome day, an awesome 2021. And look, you know what? We're going to have an amazing 2022 here on this channel with so many incredible new projects coming out this year. Can't wait to share them with you. Now, thank you to our Patreon supporters. I'll put a link in the channel below to our Patreon account if you want to jump on and support us in 2022. That would be unreal. So, what's going on here? CATL, BYD, Tesla, starting mining companies. Yep, this looks to be a trend of the future. Now, why are they doing this? Well, in December, the quoted price of lithium carbonate rose from RMB 200,000 per tonne at the beginning of the month to an average price of RMB 280,000 per tonne, an increase of 40%. Now, I don't believe CATL, BYD, or Tesla, or anyone else, well, any of those big players were directly affected by that increase. I believe they would have locked in supply contracts for at least a year. But this gives you a good idea of why they're doing this, because they are looking at shoring up the price of lithium in the future. And if you look at the growth prospects of BYD, CATL, and other companies, well, here's an example. BYD built six more battery factories this year. Six more. They're only the third largest. CATL, they're on a completely different level to BYD. They are literally building out more capacity next year than they have full stop in total this year. In fact, by the end of 2023, they'll have about four times more battery capacity than they had this year. Now, as the electric car industry grows massively in China and all around the world, Chinese electric cars are expected to double next year at a minimum, meaning they'll sell 6 million EVs in China next year. The rapid rise in raw material prices, though, has forced power battery makers to increase their efforts to get supply of the minerals they need to make the batteries. Now, a subsidiary of CATL, China's largest battery company, the largest battery company in the world by some margin now, they've been extending their lead further this year over LG Chem, who have had a spate of recent issues with their batteries, recently set up a mining company with another company with a registered capital of 800 million yen or 12.6 million US dollars. And the company called Kusu Shidai Mining Co. Limited, I'm sure I didn't pronounce that right, sorry, but anyway, who cares, was established on December the 31st, 2021, according to data provider Chichacha. It is 90% owned by CATL, a subsidiary of, by CATL Kusu, subsidiary of CATL and 10% owned by Phosphate Chemical Group in the same city. Speaking of phosphate, the majority of the batteries that CATL make are lithium iron phosphate, and they have seen a huge surge in demand for lithium iron phosphate batteries this year. At the start of 2021, to give you some context, lithium ternary batteries were by far the most popular batteries in China, but by the end of 2021, the exact opposite had occurred, and more lithium ion phosphate batteries were being sold than lithium ternary batteries. This has greatly benefited BYD and CATL. Now, CATL's business scope includes mining of mineral resources, mineral washing and processing, sales of metal ores, sales of non-metallic ores and products, and manufacturing of non-metallic mineral products. Now, just the day before the company was established, on December the 30th, Sichuan Shuneng Minerals Company Limited was established with a registered capital of 500 million. The company has four shareholders, with the largest shareholder being Sichuan Road and Bridge Company Limited, with a 67% stake, and BYD holding a pretty small stake in the company. Data released by the China Automotive Battery Innovation Alliance in December showed that CATL had delivered 11.5 gigawatt hours installed in China alone of their batteries in the month of November, 
with a 55% market share. BYD delivered 3.5 gigawatt hours installed in November, just in China alone, by the way, that's not their total capacity, ranking second with 17% market share. Now, the following month in December, BYD delivered a significant increase on the previous month. They got to 5.1 gigawatt hours. So the five largest battery companies in China include CATL in number one, BYD number two, CALB number three. By the way, CALB has poached some of CATL's clients recently, including Xpeng. Number four, Goshan High Tech. And number five, Asphalt Energy. So these moves by BYD and CATL come at a time when the prices of raw materials used in batteries are rising in tandem with the rising sales of electric vehicles. Now, according to My Steel Group, the price of battery grade lithium carbonate rose 10,000 RMB per tonne today within the last 24 hours to an average price of 290,000 per tonne with the highest price quoted topping RMB 300,000 per tonne. Now in December, lithium carbonate was quoted at an average price of RMB 280,000 per tonne from RMB 200,000 per tonne at the beginning of the month, a one month increase of 40% and more than 410% from December 2020. In other words, the price of lithium has quadrupled in a single year. But, shock horror, actually, there isn't all that much lithium needed in a battery, contrary to popular belief, what the naysayers will tell you. So this hasn't affected the cost of batteries and cars as much as what people would think it will. So that's the good news. The other good news is more and more lithium will be mined. More and more mines are opening soon. So don't worry. It's okay. We will have enough batteries to provide all of the world the opportunity to transition to full electric cars by 2030. But the funny thing is, that could be conservative, what I'm saying. As the head of one of Volvo's divisions claims that Europe might transition to EVs 100% by 2026. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. Thanks for watching the channel. I look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.